Hi everybody, um, basically because I can't make my fingers work any quicker you're getting a video um, because I don't know, yesterday I think I said I only had this Broderie and Glaze bit to embellish first of all yesterday, I'll hide that bit for now yesterday I'd completed this bit hadn't I and then I said I had the Broderie and Glaze bit to do but I've also got this to finish embroidering on Okay, but for the Broderie and Glaze bit I wanted to do this kind of thing I doodled on some cloth yesterday um, to cut out to use for these applique shapes and I'm a bit, I don't like even numbers so technically that one isn't finished yet I need to do some bullion knots around there but technically one of them would go there but that would mean four and that would cause me great trauma trust me don't ask just trust me so what i'm thinking of doing here is two smaller ones and um, kind of offsetting two smaller ones and then i've still got to do this but in terms of today it's not damn stretched it's not finished a section isn't finished for photography purposes so i thought i'd go back to this because this is something i don't even remember when i started this now but I added like these dots the other day, didn't I? To mimic the French knots on here. Um, so what I thought I'd do, this reminds me, when I was studying, when I was at uni, and they used to stand behind me with a whip and make me draw um, with a gun to my head. We used to have to do these all the time and we'd have to do one that was four times bigger than this. So it would be A1. So it would be four times this, if you imagine. And we had to cover the surface with pattern. And we used to have deadlines time scales in which to do them i can't remember off the top of my head how long that would be maybe a week or something but aside from that we had other things to do, like write essays and stitch samples you know it wasn't just doing this but we didn't have the luxury of having a piece and i keep this in my cupboard and just coming back to it when we wanted to add something to it so what i'm thinking now if i want i want to make this into something similar to what we used to do at uni so i thought i'm going to keep coming back to this and adding things to it as and when i add to the stitched pieces that are doodled now this is kind of it, there's a possibility if i'm not careful that this is going to creep into class speak because the class starts on Monday and there's going to be a lot of doodling on fabric going on in that and I don't want to do that but having said that I still need to be able to stitch before class starts and I still need to be able to be creative to keep it all going and because I want to be so I'm just going to add a little bit in here today and I'm thinking I'm already overrun with circles because I did think I could doodle that circle because within these circles that are applique there's partial flowers that I've cut out from the fabric but that's already happening here so I thought I would take some of these shapes like teardrop shapes and they are very simple they're not difficult to draw but I thought if I do a couple of teardrop shapes and see where that leads me in terms of what I'd like to put in there now if you remember on here I've got bullion loops with French knots at the top and I've got stems so I'm thinking let's forget about flowers for a while and let's just do a stem maybe so we'll do some teardrop shapes within and then put stems within them so i wanted quite a dark green and you might notice over here i've got like a color key going on and this is where i test my colors to see which one i want to use that to me isn't dark enough i want dark oh mind you no actually keep going it's quite dark no it is actually so that one's fine so if i do a couple of teardrops with this um, marker just scattered and eventually if i keep coming back to this um it'll eventually get full won't it so that'll be a good thing and I've, i haven't got a teacher stood behind me like i say banging me on the head saying get on with it because i you know i used to be very very fearful of drawing i'm still not the most confident artist in the world um i wouldn't even really call myself an artist to be honest with you but so if i do two green ones i don't want to do them all green i'll have a look in here because i did want my stems to be green and then i just went straight in didn't i and started drawing i quite like these colors if i remember correctly so if i just sample these over here that's like a dark purple burgundy and there's a place for that on here I'm, I'm trying i don't want this to be just sickly sweet brightness all the time and that's like a muted dark pink so i'll use those two as well so if i do the burgundy one if i do one here 
I mean, I had an email. This is the kind of thing I will say in class, but I'll say it here. I had an email last night from somebody um, who's done classes of mine before and where there's been a lot of doodling. And they said, I don't like to doodle because I'm too stupid to doodle. I'm too useless at it. Don't ever say that. Doodling is amazing. It's so relaxing and it doesn't have to be perfect. If you look at these, it's it's childlike. It's so very basic and these shapes are so easy. I've just done that teardrop shape. Nobody is incapable of doodling. It might not look like this. It'll be a completely different shape, different colour, different pattern, you know, different density of pen, different colour scheme, different, you know what I mean? But it's all worthwhile, it's all valid. Anyone can doodle and you might not be doing my class, but please get out a pen and doodle. Just scribble every day because you'd be amazed. I used to be terrified of drawing, absolutely terrified. And now, I'm not saying it's the best drawing in the world, but it's good, it makes you happy and it's a pleasant thing to do. You don't have to show anybody. I'm not saying go out and doodle and show the world. Just keep it for yourself. Slip it in a book somewhere if you do an all loose piece of paper. But just do it. Just do it. Pick up, I don't know, a newspaper and doodle a, a letter from the headline. Or pick up a, a catalogue of flowers or a leaflet that comes through your door. And doodle a can of pop. If it, I get takeaway leaflets through my door all the time. Get a can of pop and a kebab for £2. Doodle a can of pop. Um, doodle a flower head, doodle a petal, doodle a leaf, you know, I mean, come on, just give it a go. Real, I'm right, I'm going to go off my sort box now. But yeah, nobody, nobody, nobody is, nobody's too stupid for anything, but especially nobody's too stupid for doodling, okay? And if we make a mistake, it's not wrong, it's a mistake, and we learn from it. Right, I'm getting off my sort box now. So we've got three petal shapes, we're not in class, Karen, behave yourself. Three petal shapes, and I'm going to do some stems coming in here like that, with some leaf shapes coming off them. Now, that, talk about simple, talk about simplicity. You can't get any simpler than that. I've got a, my cousin has got a five year old girl who does this kind of thing. So, you know, it's not a massive, massive, hideous challenge that nobody can fulfill, trust me. Yeah. So that's two. I'm going to try and add a bit more colour to them though because they're not enough on their own. I'll put this other colour in this one up here. But that's as simple as that. Simple, simple, simple. That actually is the same colour as the petal, which isn't a good thing. So I will add some green on that as well. Just literally go around that petal with green. It's not a petal, it's a leaf. I mean, what's not to be easy about that? You know, add a little bit more colour there. Go over here and add some colour in here. Go around that one with that colour. Just for a tiny bit more focus, okay? There. And the same one here. And that's it. So I'm going to get off my sort box today about doodling. But honestly, don't do it for me, do it for you. And like I say, you don't have to show anybody. Just do it. You don't even have to show your kids or your husbands or your mothers or anybody. You must get five minutes alone, get a scrap of paper and just get a pencil. You don't even need markers, just get a pencil or a biro, a ballpoint pen and doodle. Uh, it's my mission to get the world doodling. Okay, now I'm going to shut up now. So that, this sheet lives beautifully with this piece of work. And what I'm going to do now, I've got a busy weekend, my daughter's coming home today. Um, I've already scheduled a post for tomorrow that will post. So that's going to give me two nights. Well, maybe not tomorrow night. I might be going out tomorrow night. But it's going to give me some time to perhaps make progress on this. So you will see this again on Sunday. Um, and then I'm going to put this away for a while and concentrate on the other one with the three big pockets on it. Do you know the one I'm talking about? Um, because like class will start on Monday and I'll be involved with that too. But on Sunday, this should be finished, this area, and hopefully I'll have made headway over here. So that'll be amazing. I love this. I don't think I'm going to be at part with this one either. I said that about the other one. I might have to just keep them, and that'll be two. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I, this house is full of pouches, but some I just can't. I don't know. Because I think to myself, I could sell this and make another one, but I know I won't. But then again, I'm going to be making pockets in class so I can keep them for myself. We'll see. But I just love it. I really, really love it. Anyway, so 
that's it. Hope that was okay. Hope it wasn't very traumatic for you.